<laughs> Don't even use that anymore. <laughs> hey. Hello and welcome to episode 42 of the Bearded Banter podcast. I am your host, the Bearded One, and with me is my co-host today, Riley Random Richard. Is it Riley or is it Random? Like, you, well, your you, real you name's go, Riley. I know you go back and forth on like what your you real call name is Riley, but, I know that, but... You, your alias is Random Richard. So I, yeah, yeah. I, I just it, it's like Random is like your middle name in quotations. Riley Rand Riley Random Rich. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that better than my real middle name. And with us today, we have a very special guest. We have Mr. Joe Hayes on the show. Hello. Joe Hayes hasn't been on a podcast in like two years. It's been a very long. It's been a very long time since Joe's been on the show. Yeah. So we're happy to have him back. Since the birthday podcast yeah we're very we're very happy to have joe back on the show and since today's a special occasion since it's the three of us together for the first time in almost a year uh if you're familiar with our show format we usually do half an hour of general discussion where we talk about just anything gaming related and then we go into some new stories but we thought since it's a special occasion and you know the three of us are back together after almost a year we thought, we're just going to say fuck it to the normal show format, and this is just going to be a random shooting the shit podcast, talk about whatever, gaming, movies, TV, whatever we want, it's, just so we can yeah. get back into the swing of things and just have like a general discussion. It's just going to be pure bullshit. That's yeah, all it is. and um, this isn't over Skype. All three of us are in the same room, so we're all uh, talking into this lovely microphone. Yeah. So we all probably sound fucking amazing. Kitty. Yeah, because the last few times we were all on trying to do group Skype and internet and, and internet is just wasn't working. Yeah, it didn't work. So anyway, how are you? How are you guys doing? I'm fucking amazing, man. Like things are starting to actually like somewhat not be kind of shitty in my life. So right, I know. <laughs> wow, that was great. Ah, oh. nice burp. General sound effects. <laughs> it's going so well so far. But anyway, Joe, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh. Uh, alcohol helps. Amazing. <laughs> uh, well, it, it depends on who you talk to. <laughs> Joe says he's drinking right now. Just kidding, he's drinking water. I love how you make a point to drink directly next to the microphone. But yeah, uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I'm what have not... you been playing lately in terms of games? Have you been playing anything lately? Me? Yeah. Um, Kitties. Well, uh, I really... Uh, I haven't really been playing on on the PS4 a lot, um, but I haven't. I have. Uh, I've been sort of rotating between games that I've had on uh, Steam and stuff. Yeah. So. Well, the uh, sum the summer sale. Yeah, just the happened, summer right? sale just happened and made out like a bandit on that shit. Oh <laughs> hell yeah! Well, that isn't that always the deal with the summer sale? Oh yeah. Uh, I think I have like I got I had I bought two car two twenty dollar cards and I spent all of it. <laughs> On like there was, I bought like a shit ton of games. Like what, Joe? Tell us. Uh, well, give us details. Um, the people love details. Just off the top of my head, I got the Stanley Parable. Oh shit! How much you get that for? Uh, like two bucks. Oh, that, oh that's a, that's a, that's a good game. You, I hate you. That's <laughs> a good that's a good game, and yeah. it's also really fucking weird, and that's why I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's the most is. meta game in the world. Or meta, yeah, right. Meta, whatever. Have you got? Have you you played it? Yes? I, I haven't yeah. played it. That's... Oh, you haven't played it yet. No, okay. that's why I bought it. Well, there, there's one. There's one. It's not really a spoiler because this is one spoiler and like a sea of spoilers. But like, there's a room you get to where there's a bit. There's a cardboard cut out of a baby and then a fire. And you have to choose whether or not you send the baby into the fire. And then the narrator roasts you for it if you send the baby into the fire because he's like, "Looks like you're a uh, you know, child killer." <laughs> of course, he roasts you for yeah. it. Nice play on words there. Yeah, I know, right? But I'm. Yeah, uh, one of the other ones I got was uh, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Never heard of it. No, it's no. like it's like a it's like a, a story driven. Um, it's a story driven uh, detective mystery game, which I've heard pretty good things about. So I got that and the soundtrack. Never but, heard of it. I uh, also got Call of War as Gunslinger. Oh shit! Because I've been wanting to get that one for a while. Uh, and I got the I got both Bioshock games for five bucks. Yeah, I heard that. One, I heard um, Call of War as is really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? I got uh, got uh, Grim Fandango remastered. Oh, oh, that game was fun. Plus the soundtrack, which I have. Plus on the my, soundtrack. On my iPod right you know, now. for a game that came out in 1998, it has a great soundtrack. Yeah, the remastered's on a uh, PS4. Too. Yep, I have it. Oh, you have it. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. actually, you know what? I bought it. I bought it when I had like uh, my free trial of PlayStation Plus. 
But oh, you get, did you get it for free or on sale? Oh, well, I got it when I had my free trial, but when it expired, I had to buy the game, and I just haven't fucking done it yet. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the thing that kind of sucks about PS Plus. Yeah. It's it was... like they give you all these free games, so then once your subscription uh, runs out, they're like, well, you could buy a new subscription so you could play these free games, or you could just buy them all again. I mean, <laughs> basically, go fuck yourself. But you know, like it, my subscription, new... my subscriptions expired in January, and I just haven't got around to renewing it. And I'm yeah. like, well, that's like fucking almost like seventy games on my PS3 that I can't play anymore. So fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I also got Brutal Legend plus the original soundtrack for two dollars, which we're actually playing on the channel right now. Oh really? Yeah, I started playing Brutal Legend for the channel, and I finally have a Bastion. It's a oh. Bastion. Bastion's good. Yeah, and I got both uh, Battle Block Theater and oh. Castle Crashers. Damn, high five. For like two bucks. Yeah. 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 Whoa, best, that's Best friends. Best friends. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's spiked. I'm looking at the Audacity feed right now, and that's spiked. Dude, it probably yeah, won't, it probably was, won't spike in the actual that was audio. Those most yeah. of the games that I got. Cool. That's pretty great. Riley, what have you been playing lately? Oh, man. Um, well, first off, I want to talk about my gaming haul I got today. I, oh! I, I just kicked the thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's um, fine. Uh, I got two games lately. Uh, I got AKA no, today. Yeah, literally today. I got Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga for PS3 because people who've watched the show well enough will know that I love the Lego games and I make a point to say that I really enjoy the games. I mean, they're good quality games. They're like, hmm. and I also got Metal Gear Rising, which for being a Metal Gear fan, I have not played yet. And, and for being a Metal Gear fan, it's not a Metal Gear game. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a platinum game that has Metal Gear slapped on it. The only thing in relation to the only real thing in relation to Metal Gear that I can think of in that Raiden. game is Raiden, and you fight a Metal Gear at the very beginning. That's about it. Spoiler alert! It's not a spoiler. You'll see. The real spoiler is if I told you exactly how the fight plays out, which I won't because we'll be playing that later, and I don't want to ruin the surprise because it's fucking ridiculous. I believe you. Okay, so but in the uh, things that I've been playing. Uh, I recently, last year, about this time Why are you talking year, away to us, Riley? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm looking at my game collection, which is directly behind me, so... Um, <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Why you shut the hell up? No. Um, uh, I, I, uh, last year at this time, I bought uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS. Oh, same. I and have I, I have the version, too. I got, um, I got both, and I gave Omega Ruby to my sister for Christmas. Yes. It's basically the same game, uh-huh. so big fuck you whoop. And yeah, it's I honestly like forgot how good that game was. I remember I remember when I first played that on the 3DS, I flash back to my childhood. I'm just like I remember oh. I didn't play Ruby or Sapphire on the actual GBA. I played Sapphire on a GBA emulator on my iPhone. <laughs> huh. That's how I played Ruby for the first time. Wow. Well, no, sorry, Sapphire. And then I got Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS, and I'm like, well, I guess I can't play this ever again. And then Omega Ruby, right? Yeah, Omega Ruby, yeah. Okay. And you still haven't played X or Y, though. No, um... Which, I mean, Sun and Moon is coming out soon, so you might as well just skip it at this point. I feel like I should, so... They've ran out of colors to name Pokemon after. Yeah. Now we're gonna name them after constellations. (laughs) In the sky. Pokemon. Giant stars. Pokemon the Big Dipper and Pokemon. Pokemon Pokemon Sun, whose legendary is a fucking sun lion. And Pokemon Moon, whose legendary is like... I don't even fucking know what it is. Who gives a fuck at this point? I'll probably end up... Hey, it's gonna be Pokemon. It's Pokemon, so it's probably gonna be good. Oh, yeah, I mean... Speaking of Pokemon, I know what you're gonna say. Pokemon Pokemon Go Go came out today. Yes, yes, I forgot about that. Pokemon Go came out today, the day we're recording this, which I always put a timestamp at the beginning of every podcast, like the day we recorded okay, it. Okay, it's July 6th. It's July 6th. This will go out on the 13th. Okay. Next Wednesday. But yeah, Pokemon Go came out today, and I heard a few different things. A, I heard it's amazing. B, I heard that it sucks your battery dry. So basically play it while you're charging your phone. But you can't. Because the whole point of the game is to go out into the world and look for... The whole thing, the whole premise behind Pokemon Go is like, it's kind of like an MMO thing where it encourages you to go out into the actual real world and you can only find Pokemon in specific real world locations. Why would I want to do that? So it's like you're actually... So it's like... (laughs) Because it's amazing. Yeah, Pokemon Go is... I'm lazy. Pokemon Go, then it's not for you. (laughs) Pokemon Go is basically you becoming a real life Pokemon trainer. And you go out on your own Pokemon adventure, and you catch Pokemon in different places. And then you realize you walked in the bad part of town, and somebody steal your phone. 
And then you walk into the bad part of town, there's like 10 gra- uh, Gengars ready to jump uh, you, and it's like... Dark type Pokemon. There's also, there's also the, the par- all those parody um, uh, articles, like parody like news places. They or, There's already a bunch of like articles about like how people like, oh, uh, man walks into traffic because he's trying to catch a fucking... Because he's trying to catch a Pidgey. He's trying to catch a Pidgey or something I like that. I could actually totally and believe that. I, I would believe it, but, you know, I don't think anybody's that stupid, really. I don't think so either. You'd underestimate the stupidity. I underestimate people's intelligence, but, you know, I have faith a little bit, but not much. So, like, the George yeah. Michael song? Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that interested in Pokemon Go, to be honest. I'll just stick to regular Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll buy it. No. Nah. I, uh, it's not a, it's not Things out, this is like this is like Nintendo's second mobile game. They did something else before this. I forget what it was Mitomo, called. Mitomo, I think. Mitomo, it was yeah. called. And I have no idea what the hell that was. Mitomos. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that I is. I don't either. know what that game is, man. No, like uh, I don't. I don't know, man. Like I feel Nintendo's just been kind of like. But okay, speaking of Nintendo, I love how talk- quiet me and Joe are compared to you. You just talked like, about yeah. well. He's right in front of the mic. I'm right in front of the mic. I'm leaning into the mic so it picks me up better. I'm like Joe, who just like sits back and is like, yeah, you know, I bought some games on PC. We all need like portable headsets. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> we should invest in that. But yeah, um, speaking of Nintendo, I've been talking... Nintendo is like an on-again, off-again topic on the podcast for like the last month or so. Because what the fuck is Nintendo doing at this point? Who like, knows? I th- well, apparently they're... Developing a new console. Yeah, the Nobody's NX heard comes out in March. We got no details of it at E3. They specifically said it's not going to be at E3. Still don't know what the hell this thing is. And it comes out in less than seven months. What the fuck? This is like a really weird game they're playing right yeah. now. And I don't know if I like it's it. Like, there's no details on this thing at all. Everything about the NX is rumors right now. Mm-hmm. Other than the fact that Zelda got pushed back so it could launch on NX. Yeah. Even though the Wii U version is basically done and ready to go. They did the Rayman Legends thing. Where they pushed the game back almost a whole year so that they could port it to another console. Which is uh, really kind Which of... Which I mean, yeah. to me... And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that kind of... St- symbolizes the death of the Wii U. A little bit. I think bit. at that point, they pretty much realize that the Wii U isn't going to win everyone, anyone over at this point, and they're abandoning it. And well, they're going yeah. full-on NX from here on out. I mean, they, they realize which, that they're which, getting... Which means like, that yeah. they have confidence that the NX is They have confidence on. that the NX is going to do better than the Wii U, because the Wii U... They, I think when they made the Wii U, they thought it was automatically going to catch on because it was the successor to the Wii, which was, like, fucking batshit popular. Yeah. But it didn't. Surprise, surprise. It unfortunately I mean, yeah. didn't, which sucks because it's a really good console. Well, the thing is, it's a good console, but, you know, third-party support is just not that good. I mean, look, look at the Wii. Like, most, the best games are first-party. Yeah. yeah. Most third-party developers have blatantly come out and said, yeah, we're not making Wii U games anymore. Because, yeah, the, because the Wii, like, you know... There, even though the Wii U is part of this console generation, they're a generation behind again. They are, yeah. Like, and now they're just going to catch up when they come put out the NX. Which apparently one of the rumors is it's mo, it's just as powerful, if not a little more powerful than the current gen hardware. Which I find hard to believe because it's mm, Nintendo. Nintendo's n- yeah. never been uh, fucking graphics powerhouse. Not, but not in recent years. No. I mean. With the N64, they sort of did, but not really. I mean, Wii U games look pretty damn good, like, at least the first party ones. Yeah. <sighs> but, you know, as good as Mario can get. I personally think, like, when you when you think about the Zelda thing, it's pretty much the same thing that happened with Rayman. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it was supposed to be a Wii U exclusive, and it was ready to go, and then they delayed it, like, seven months so that they p- could port it to other systems, because they realized... Wii U wasn't doing so hot. No shit. Like, if you look at the numbers, it's, like, dismal at best. So, like, I, I honestly think that that was a bad move on Nintendo's part. I think that if the Wii U version is ready to come out now, they should release it this year. Mm-hmm. And then when the NX comes out, you can release that version when that launches. Because, mm-hmm. honestly, what do they have this year besides Pokemon that is really going to win anyone over? Not a hell of they're a lot. Bi- they're they're biggest... riding a lot on the Pokemon. Now. I think the I think their biggest game this year so far was Star Fox. And really? that got, like, lukewarm reception. That's not good. I'll, well, I guess they need to do, like, Super Mario 3D World 2, I guess. They said... They did say... Mimo did come out and say that they're working on an entirely new Mario game. They need to do game. another Paper Mario. They are. 
Oh, I should have looked for Sticker Star. There's a pa- paper. No, Sticker Don't. Star is not good. Really? It's not good. No, pa- there, there's a new Paper Mario coming out this year for the Wii U. It's called Color Splash. It comes out in October. Oh. But, like you just said, I need to find Sticker Star. Don't bother with Sticker Star. Just don't. Um, it's it, Okay, remember the jump between Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario? Yeah. Where it was like, in Super Paper Mario, they completely ditched the turn-based thing for the 2D side-scrolling thing? Yep. And Sticker Star, they went back to the turn-based thing, but they completely neutered the battle system. Because the whole gimmick of the game is stickers. Stickers are your attacks. What the fuck? So you have a sticker for jumping, you have a sticker for your hammer, you have a sticker for special abilities, and you need to collect these stickers throughout the game. And if you don't have any stickers, then you can't fight anything. See? That's so weird. See, Nintendo is living proof that originality isn't always good. Yeah. Not really. So, like, people will always buy another Call of Duty game, except for now because people are getting tired of their shit with yeah. Call of Duty and Infinite, Infinite is, Warfare. Infinite, Infinite Warfare. Warfare. And they're like, eh. Uh, and yeah. they're like, ah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, <laughs> and then Battlefield 1 comes out and they're like, this is what I want! Nintendo Nintendo has been doing original shit for years, but it's always hit or miss. Yeah, it's always hit or miss, usually, yeah. with Nintendo. So, like, so basically, the new Paper Mario, Color Splash for Wii U, it's the same style of Sticker Star, but it has a new battle system again, but instead of stickers, you use cards. So you have a card for jumping, hammer, special abilities, and obviously it's on the Wii U, so they got to use the gamepad as a gimmick. So you have your cards on your bottom, you know, on your gamepad screen. Mm-hmm. You hold them to color them in, because that's the whole gimmick of the fucking game, is painting stuff. So you paint the cards in, and then you flick them out, and you do an attack. I feel like it's like a reverse Mario Sunshine. It's, it's a neutered version of Paper Mario, and it's probably not going to be anything great. Mm, if it's based Sticker on... Sticker Star was okay, me, yeah. but... It's completely passable. Yeah, I hear you. But yeah, uh, well, yeah. So, uh, what, what, sorry, Nintendo. what do you what do you guys think about the whole NX thing? Because I gave my two cents on it. How I think it's pretty much the death of the Wii U. What it, what, what do you guys think? Well, I, don't know. I can't really say anything on it because I don't know anything about it. It's well, no one knows anything about it. Like, what really can I say? I mean, I don't I, have I, a Wii U. I've always yeah, I don't have a Wii U either. I've had like the last the last big console that I bought from Nintendo was, a Wii. was the Wii and it was the Wii that it was the good Wii yeah where it played GameCube games yeah yeah, yeah. they stopped so, that eventually. yeah I don't know why because that was one of the big selling yeah it was the backwards compa- compatibility yeah. yeah so um but yeah but at, le- last... at, le- at least the Wii U is completely backwards compatible with Wii games yeah yeah I'm, well actually you know what uh, that's actually not true uh last thing I the last thing I got for from uh, Nintendo was the DS. You want to speak up a bit, Joe? Yeah. Last thing I got from Nintendo was the DS. Why don't you move closer to the mic, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> well, I said Last this three times. Last thing I got from Nintendo was the DS! There you go. Okay. But yeah, like, um... Why does Thomas all... Why is Thomas trying to molest the mic? I don't know. But like, um... But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, to be... To, for this specific... Uh, topic. I don't really have a high opinion of anything just because uh, I haven't haven't really experienced the whole Nintendo Wii thing. I I haven't really experienced what the Wii U is like really for like myself. Mm -hmm. I played a Wii U like once. I played a Wii U when I was dating my now ex-girlfriend and now I have my own. So, Mm. But yeah, so... Like, j- just so you guys know, even though it's pretty much failed at this point, it's still a good system, and it has a lot of great games on it. Well, I believe you, but, you know, when it goes down in price, I might yeah. nab specifically, you. I'm not going to get one, though. Specifically Donkey Kong Country. It's really good. Like, um, you know Donkey Kong Country Returns? Yeah. The sequel to that, Tropical Freeze. Really? It's a really fucking good game. Really? Okay. Um, Mario Kart 8 is really good. 3D World is really good. Captain Toad is really good. Smash Bros. is amazing. Um... Yoshi's Woolly World is a very good game. Uh, Bayonetta 2 is like jizz in my pants. <laughs> seriously, best game on the Wii U. Hand, jizz in my pants means good. That's, you know. But yeah, um, what do you think, Riley? Well, I don't have a Wii U. I've only played one like once or twice, so I can't really say. Although I do remember a lot of good experiences with the Wii. I still have a 3DS. I still play it a lot, as much yeah. as I can. Um, I don't know why Nintendo's being so secretive. I feel like they slightly knew that the Wii U fucked up, and they're not really, you know, they're trying to like, contrition for it sort of like here's what i think like when they said it wasn't going to be at e3 
Mm. I thought that was like the biggest mistake they could have made. Because if they announce the thing is going to come out in nine months time, obviously it's in the final stages. Obviously, you would think they would have something to show the public. Maybe they're just trying console. to get attention going for it. Why? That's I don't know. stupid publicity. Then well, again, any, any publicity is good publicity, but still. That's mm, really yeah. dumb on their end. Negative publicity, you know, it's good publicity, but it's still really shitty publicity. Like, if you have a console coming out in nine months, you would assume you have something at least near final stage to show at the biggest show of the year. Yeah. But they didn't. They chose not to. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand why. Like, what kind of mindset is that? I have no idea what they were going for with that, man. Like, At least I got the DS. Yeah, the, the DS, I feel, is going to be, like, like, what's still going strong for them. Really, the only thing they got this year left is Pokemon. Pokemon is their last big thing this year. If they decided to release the Wii U version of Zelda now, they might be able to turn this around, but they're not going to. No, I, 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 who knows? We might be wrong. This could go very well, but let's it, face it, it's probably not going to. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. That's, a, you know, yeah, so. Anyway, what else is going on in the world of gaming? Uh, I don't know, something that just came to me. Oh, it was, it was like, it was kind of a panic thing, because we're talking about gaming consoles and stuff, I'm like, what the hell is going to happen when I move out? And who's going to get the PS4? <laughs> well, technically Jordan it's both is. mine and my brother's. Yeah, nah, Jordan he's going to have to buy one. Yeah, I think Jordan's going to inherit that. Well, for, my, for, for me, it's a first because my older brother, Ryan, right, he always had the system. Like, he always got the new system. This is the first time where it's me who has it. So I have the yeah. PS4. So You wherever, have the PS4. Yeah, so wherever I go, it goes with me. Yeah. So Ryan's That's like, your yeah. PS4. And, yeah. And the PS3. Then again, now that, that you're... PS3 has then a story again, behind it. Now that yeah, you, now it you, does. Now that your brother is... Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I, don't it's, think it's I don't think he'll have time to be playing video no, games No, he barely has time to even play PS3. Nah. So, so, I'm assuming you still have the fat one upstairs. Yep. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you don't talk about my brother like that. <laughs> Shut up. I was going to make a joke about... Uh, I'm not going to go there. That, that's just not cool. Yeah. Penis. Penis. I wasn't even thinking of that. I was thinking, like, you know, the fiancé, but, you know... Penis. That's not... Ryan's never going to watch this. Oh, wow. So. Look at that. Look at, look at that spike. You need to get, like, a... Look at like that, that, that. Yeah, I need a pop filter. A pop filter, yeah. that's what they're called. Or, actually, I used to have one. It was, like... I, fu I fucked up when I bought this thing. Like, obviously, the mic's amazing, and it's well worth the money, but I thought one of the features it came with was it had a built-in pop filter. Yeah. Not the case. No. Also, Alice, my girlfriend just sent me the weirdest text in the world. The bottom one. Yeah, it does sound that weird. That is weird. I'm not <laughs> she, gonna say it out loud, but believe me, people watching this are that, that does this sound is weird. weird. This is ninety percent of our conversation. Wouldn't that right hurt? Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna tell what it says just because of that. Yeah. yeah. I want to keep them guessing. Yeah. It probably guessing. has nothing to do with what they're thinking. No. Uh, at least your girlfriend texts you, man. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, come here, buddy. Is Joe it's supposed okay. to get sympathy points for this? Like... It's okay. <laughs> nobody knows who Joe is. No, nobody knows who mine is. Nobody knows who Joe is. Joe's been on, like, three things on this channel. Yeah, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Speaking of which... Oh! Uh, what, what, uh, which was that? I felt like I was either going to cough or burp, and neither happened. Joe, your hair is long as shit. Yeah. He's a majestic fucking eagle, man. Well, that too. He looks like fucking... <sighs> you look like a girl, but not hot. Wow. Wow! <laughs> I, Thanks, I, Riley. I, I, I'll keep you in mind, I am a very hot girl, okay? Shane knows. <laughs> well, no boobs, and you have muscles. God, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I've slept on his couch before. No, but seriously. <laughs> I know you have. He's seen me in makeup, so... I have. Hot. It was weird. Have you seen You guys have seen me in makeup. I yeah, have? that's true. Yeah. Joe remembers. Remember. When was this? There was a point last year where Gab did my makeup and, like, sent out a bunch of Snapchats about, of it. There's I, there, I, there's a copy somewhere. I'll, I'll I don't remember that. I know you had your toenails painted. Sure I saved that. Yeah, let's... Oh, yeah, I had my toenails... My toenails were painted, like, turquoise for, like, how many months? Are they still like that? No, I, they're long past that point. I'm going to see if I can find that yeah. so I can show you. I'm going to show you mine, too. Cause if Alice, funny. like, tries to paint my nails, it's going to probably... Dude, just be a man. Just do it. Yeah, a man won't have his toes painted. A man shoots guns and eats bacon. 
Now you're a man. A man, a man, 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 man. Okay, have you it's, seen It's that? Caitlyn Jenner proportion. Oh, what in the fuck? Yeah, I That's took a weird. makeup class last semester. Oh, yeah, I remember. I forgot you took that. Homo. Yeah, this is, this is cool. You know who's the real homo here? You. How? Because fuck you. Oh, God, this I'm is trying when I did to find the it. Out and it. This was really cool. Here so it is. Oh, you did the that's makeup. weird. Yeah, I did that myself. I was really proud of it. I was a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, my oh. God. You want to see the video? Okay, I have to see. Can you put these in? I'll try to. It, it It's trying to load because... Check this out. So I'm like... How you doing, boys? Oh, I'm just gonna go over here now. <laughs> oh my god, above. <laughs> that was March of last year. This face will haunt Fuck. my dreams. No, I was what, there. what is that? That was at the show I went to. Yeah. Oh god, above. Oh god. It's one of my shows. Oh, dude. I have a band, by the way. Zach I know. City. Yeah, Look Joe, ha- Joe has a band. You changed your fucking name. ObsidianCity.com. You changed your name. It used to be Traverse Town. Yeah, but we're uh, some band from New Brunswick was all like, we're Traverse Town. So, did yeah, get, we had to change our name. Did you get sued? Name. No. Get sued? No, they're, they're actually really nice about it. They weren't assholes about it, it's but like, they're actually really nice um, about it. Just uh, like, guys, um, well, actually, we are Traverse Town. Could you, could you please possibly change your name? Yeah, I know. It was more of a, hey, guys, I just want to let you know that we have licensed music under the name Traverse Town. We'd like it if you changed your name. That'd be great. Then change your name to Traverse Town 2.0. That's what Mike. Wa- that's what my guitarist Mike wanted to do. Change like, your nah, name. Fuck you, change Mike. your name to Inverse Town. Fuck it. Call it Pykel. Pykel. <laughs> Dill Pykel. <laughs> so Shane, you want to like put a little blurb in the video that's just like self promotion for Joe? Yeah, totally. Okay. Check out his band Obsidian City. Here Editor's is. note: Obsidian okay. City at Facebook dot com. Facebook dot com uh, b- forward backslash YouTube. <laughs> yeah, do you have a MySpace account? No. Okay. Dude, do you have a uh, um? Do you have a LinkedIn account that people can? Who go the for? hell uses LinkedIn? <laughs> I do. What the fuck? Are All right, it's Dad. a business thing. It's a yeah. business thing, apparently. And to like probably like hook up with girls. I don't oh know. yeah, Joe. Why don't you tell the lovely people about the movies you got? I only got one movie. Really? I thought you got two. No, I just got this and my USB. Oh yeah, you were gonna get you were gonna get Gone Girl, but then you were like, yeah, I don't want to feel terrible. Yeah, I was gonna get Gone Girl. Uh, for those, for anybody who is, anyone who's read the book or seen the movie, yeah, you know. Anybody who would like to know, I'm actually a huge cinephile. I. I'm a collector of films. He said cinephile, not pedophile. I'm a, collect, I'm a collector of films. I like I collect the films. So he collects the films in the Blu-ray the format. In the Blu-ray format. So today I picked up the Best the, Buy exclusive uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane uh, Blu-ray steelbook. It's a nice steelbook. It's a very nice steelbook. Why is it bl- Why is it Best Buy is always the ones who has the exclusive steelbooks? Yeah. Well, because Future Shop doesn't exist anymore. And the other yeah, day... Yeah, but Future Shop was owned by Best Buy. The other day, yeah. I, I yeah. got uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day uh, exclusive You did. If you want to see that beautiful. on his Instagram account, you can follow him at Sir Knight Detective. Yeah. Can you link my Instagram account? Actually, no, don't, because... <laughs> mine's, no, mine, no. mine's private, so... Nah, I, I'm I good. Follow. Well, his is private, too. No, it's not. <laughs> Mine's private, so only people I know follow me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, speaking of movies, we got some movies over here. Well, yeah, Joe, we're, we're why don't gonna, you give me those movies? We're gonna watch some movies. We're gonna today. watch these movies. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. So, anyone, um, anyone who watches the show uh, on a regular basis or watches my other podcast, uh, The I'm Gap. Your digital HD code. <laughs> Do you even me. use that? Does anyone? No. Okay. So anyone, anyone who is uh, watches the show regularly or watches my other show, uh, the Gap Podcast, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, unfortunately, our own random richer over here has never seen Dragon Ball Z. <gasps> well, he has on his own, and he said he what he he told me. I think it was last week that he was bored one night and he tried to watch some DBZ and he got a few episodes in and he just wasn't feeling it. And I was like, well, probably it would it would probably be a better experience if you watched it with us who actually know this shit. Yeah. So since I was coming over here today, I brought my Blu-ray copies of Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. So we're going to be watching these at some point. Um, so, Riley, you do not know anything about Dragon Ball Z, yes? Uh, my knowledge is You limited. know little to none. Very limited. Okay. Well, this is a terrible starting point, but I had no other options. 
I had no okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna justify this. So oh, why would you show a DBZ newbie Battle of Gods right off the bat? Well, anyone who knows That's this movie That's my question was That was your question. It was uh, I also I had to explain it to Riley to justify my decision here. Anyone who uh knows uh Battle of Gods is the movie that came out in twenty thirteen. It's only three years old. Um it's it, technically a canon continuation from the end of Dragon Ball Z. Or it's confusing. So DBZ ends, but it's not the end of the series. They jump like a decade ahead in the timeline and show what's happening there, and then they end it. So it's like a this, Force Awakens. This type is thing. a continuation of before the time jump. Okay. So the series ends. This is a continuation after that point before they jump like a decade into the future. Okay, I see. So why would you show Newbie Battle of Gods? Well, if we were going to show him DBZ, I would want to show him actual DBZ. The only problem with that is, since he's already iffy on DBZ to begin with, and every, anyone who's watched the original series knows, it's drawn... Lots of exposition! Yeah, it's really drawn out, it's got a lot of filler, the pacing's all over the place, even though it's, in my opinion, fucking awesome. The original series, even from a hardcore fan's perspective, is kind of tough to get through. Uh, well, then you must be saying, well, why not show him Kai? Well, the problem with that is I don't have a physical version of Kai to bring over. So, it's either show him the really filler-heavy, horribly-paced original version, or show him Kai, but I don't have a copy of it. So, this is the best option I got. Uh, but at least they're really they're really good movies. So, I, I hope you do like them, because... I'll sure try. I mean, you'll try, and obviously, if you have any questions, I'll I'll fill you in on the on the universe if anything confuses you. Because this isn't a movie you can jump in right off the bat and be like, "Oh, I know exactly what's going on. I know who everyone is." No, it's it's a continuation of a long running series that went on for like seven years and had almost three hundred episodes. They basically, if you're watching this, they expect you to know everything that's happened up until this point. So Shit, okay. It's a terrible starting point, but it was the only viable option I had. Because I'm not going to show you the original DVZ if you're already wearing on it. Because I think that'll just push you farther away. I would want to show you Kai, but I don't have that on Blu-ray. So We've established that yeah. before. Had, so. so I, so I got to show him this stuff. Hopefully he'll like it. And uh, to be honest, this is, this is totally not like DBZ bias. This is from like, an actual logical and non-biased standpoint. Battle of Gods is one of the best movies I've seen in years. Okay. It's wonderfully paced. It's hilarious. The animation is beautiful. The fight scenes are amazing. I just really like this movie. Is... Of course, I'm going to like it even more because I'm a DBC fan, but just from a movie-going perspective, it's one of the best movies I've seen in years. Yeah, it's great. And Resurrection F is a really good follow-up. Mm -hmm. So I hope you like them. I, I I really hope you like I them. can't promise I will, but... And if you like them, then we'll watch Kai eventually. And Kai is a much better version of DBZ. Okay. Um, Because Kai came out in 2009. It was like a 10-year anniversary of the original dub that came out in 99. And um, the problem with DBZ, like I said, it's horribly drawn out. Pacing's all over the place, full of filler. What they did with Kai was they... Basically, they recut the whole series. They re-edited everything, rewrote everything, revoiced everything, so that it strictly followed the manga. So the pacing is a million times better. It's a lot faster, and they cut out almost all of the filler. There's still a few filler things here and there, but it's mostly filler-free. So if you wanted to watch DBZ, you would want to watch that version because it's a lot easier to watch. Okay. And also, um, depending on if we have time, I guess we'll watch The Martian too tonight. I really like for you to see that so if we don't watch it tonight i'll watch it on my own because it's on netflix now yeah. so it's definitely on my list i would actually like i know you want to show me that but i would really like to watch that tonight at some point so. well um you know is if... that my copy of rising there yes yes it is. okay just uh keep that like by oh me no somewhere. wait that's my copy your copy oh over there. fuck it is all right god put that on the shelf so why it's... is your copy here Oh, um, I brought it over so that he could play it because, um, Riley's never played Metal Gear Rising. Okay. So we were going to play that, but then when we went to Shit. Game Cycle, it, is your shelf full? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. The Wii version of, uh, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga is coming out now, yeah. so... Like, but, um, Riley's never played Metal Gear Rising. I brought my copy over so we could play it, and when we went to our local used game store, it was there for six bucks, so I encouraged him to 
invest in it. Was it? Yeah, it was. Six. Because six bucks is a wonderful price for that game. My copy was five, so. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did it come with the soundtrack, like it says? No. No? No. That, uh, unfortunately, it did not. Uh... Whoever pawned that off obviously took the soundtrack CD out of it. I hate it when people do that, man. Yeah. Like, if... This, uh... <laughs> then again, let's be real. We do the same thing. Probably do the same thing. I'd absolutely do the same thing. This is going in storage. Yeah. Oh, I love... Later, uh, because the mic's on storage. I always love... If, if there's an opportunity for me to get the soundtrack to a game I like, I will buy the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, um... Like, you bought the Life is Strange limited edition. That came with the soundtrack. Yeah, it came with the soundtrack in the art book because I fucking love the game. I mean, I haven't played it since I bought it just because I don't want to be mentally scarred again. Uh, I want to go. I don't want to go through all the emotion. Yeah, it's 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 a hard. It's a whirlwind of emotion. It's a, it's a man. whirlwind of emotion. It's a hard hitting game. Yeah, but the soundtrack is. I I know a lot. Of, like my uh, friend, my drummer for my band, Nick. He doesn't like the soundtrack because he's more of a metal kind of guy, and he's kind of a. He doesn't like indie music that much, but I I don't know. Oh, no. I'm pretty open to stuff like that. Yeah, so I, I have an open I, mind when it comes to music. It's a pretty good soundtrack, and I actually really like it. Yeah, some good shit. Yeah, the game's also good too. It's a good compilement. Game's pretty of songs. great. Yeah. Did you ever hear if they're making like a sequel or a second season to that? I heard there was something like that, but that's it's just rumor. Oh okay. Yeah, because like nothing, nothing yeah. like solid. Because when you have an ep episodic game like that, obviously, when you think episodic game nowadays, you think Telltale. Yeah. Yeah. And, like and also like I want I want them to make a second season of Wolf Among Us. That'd be Wolf cool. Among Us was really fucking good. It was even better than The Walking Dead in my opinion. I liked it more than Walking Dead. It was just more interesting. Mm. I liked the characters a lot more and the environments were a lot more. And, and also when it comes to detailed. Episodic, episodic games like Life is Strange and making sequels, you got to go and, you know, um you got to account for the endings. Yeah. You know? Oh, Sometimes yeah, right. Sometimes, you know, certain companies will totally discard, like, a certain part of the ending in, despite, you know, having, giving players the choice to pick an ending. Yeah. And then people will just get pissed off. Yeah. Because there's not, um, like, you know, like, at some points, uh, Dishonored, for example, which is a game I really like, but there's multiple endings to it. But with, when it comes to Dishonored 2, it seems they've gone, they've totally discarded most. every, most of the endings. And they yeah, because gone, it's set they, in stone what happens at the beginning just, of yeah, that game. They, they just go. It's like, boom, Corvo's alive. Boom, Emily's grown up. Yeah. Boom, pick your character. So that that bugs me a little when when game developers do that. Um, but I'm still excited. Yeah, that's true. I'm still excited for Dishonored I never, 2. I never really thought of that, to be honest. I never actually thought of that. Damn. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, but speaking of uh, Telltale and episodic games, Walking Dead Season 3 is coming out this year. Which, um, I saw some of the E3 stuff, and they showed, like, a grown-up Clementine, and it's weird. Really? It's so weird. She's like a teenager. And I don't know where Lee is. Oh, wait, Lee's dead. I meant Kenny. I don't know where Kenny is. Kenny wasn't in the trailer. Kenny? I don't know if Kenny's dead or not. Kenny, where are you? You killed Kenny. You bastards. Yeah, um, Telltale also has a Batman series coming out this yes. year. Yes. They haven't said when, yeah, they haven't said when that's launching, but they said it's coming out sometime this summer, and it's also ending this year. Five episodes, starting in the summer, ending by the end of the year. Mm. So the rumor is it's going to probably start in, like, end of July, early August, and be, uh, monthly. Well, good thing I'm all caught up on my Batman movie watching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true. They said they said that the the Telltale Batman's gonna have a lot of Bruce Wayne in it. Right on. That's and guess cool. who voices Bruce Wayne? Troy Baker. <gasps> Wait, is he doing Batman then too? Then or I is don't somebody else doing know. Batman? I'm not sure. All I all I saw was that Troy Baker's voicing Bruce Wayne specifically. I don't know if there's a separate person for Batman, but I still feel Kevin Conroy is the best Batman. I find it ironic. And I don't know about you guys, I find it ironic that in Arkham Origins, Troy Baker voices the Joker, and now he's voicing Batman. I know, go figure, eh? Well, when you're a prolific voice actor, you do a lot of stuff. Like how, uh... And it, Riley, you're wrong, Michael Keaton is the best bat, best Batman. No, he's talking about, games, like, voice, voice acting. <laughs> Dick. I, I still think Val Kilmer was okay. Voice, voice He was okay. 
I was joking, you asswipe. Um, voice acting. He was okay. No. Voice acting wise, Kevin Conroy is the best Batman. Voice acting wise, Mark Hamill is the best Joker. No one can beat those two. Mm hmm. Speaking of which, Killing Joke's coming out soon. <gasps> I'm so excited. In theaters, you gotta go. Is it coming out here? Yes. Oh my god, Silver where? City. Oh my god, we have to go. Yeah. July 25th, we're going to see Killing Joke. Uh, if I have nothing going on, sure. Good. Uh, we're going to see Killing Joke, god damn it. Okay, uh, apparently I'm going now, so. It's gonna be the first rated R Batman movie ever. Animated movie. Well, yeah. R Batman movie ever, yeah. Yeah. I don't. Need, I don't think any of the Batman. I don't even think the Christian, uh, the Christian Bale and Nolan films were no, rated it was all R. PG-13. They were PG thirteen. Even the Dark Knight for how brutal that movie got sometimes. Yeah, it was still rated PG. They got away with a lot in that movie. Yeah, for its PG thirteen rating. Check they out. Check out this pen. It. They just skimmed it. Yeah, but yeah, Killing Joke's gonna be the first ever rated R Batman film, and you can tell why because it's adapting the goddamn Killing Joke. I actually have that. In the graphic novel Do you? cover. Yep. Man, you should let me borrow it so it I can read it. You should let me borrow it so I can read it because I really want to read it. Yeah. I don't, I don't really like lending out my comics. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just preference. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see that. It was like, like, thinking about it now, seeing as how it has like a limited theatrical release, this reminds me a lot of last year when Resurrection F came out. Yeah. Don't you remember that? Yeah. Like that one day I text you and I'm like, I want to go see Resurrection F, but I have no money. Then, yeah, I mean, it's not like I could have brought you either because I had to work. Yeah, you had to work. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's like, I don't understand why movies like this only get limited theatrical releases. Like, if Resurrection F taught us anything, it's that movies like this will sell fucking tickets. Because this is the highest... Gr this, Riley. Resurrection, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. It was released... In a limited theatrical run last summer for like a week in August, and it became the highest grossing anime film of all time. Really? So I hope that it shows people that there's a demand for the shit, and that they don't, they get like widespread theatrical releases and not limited runs. Well, because I would love it if like The Killing Joke came out and it was in theaters for like a month so that people could have time to go see it, you know? Yeah, it would like, get, yeah. it would get so much cash. It would get so much cash. Well, the, that, whatever, that's whatever, true. whatever Dragon Ball what a, movie, what a, what a, whatever Dragon Ball movie next doesn't need a yeah, limited run should be in all theaters. But yeah, last summer, I was really depressed about that. Yeah, he because was. I was so depressed about that because I had just watched Battle of Gods and I'm like, I need to go see this movie, and it was showing one day at Silver City, one day only, one one time only. It was like a Saturday at noon. My girlfriend at the time was working, Joe was working, and I had no money and no one to go with. Fuck. So I couldn't go see it. I was so upset about that. But then I got it on Blu-ray, so hey, whatever. It worked. Yeah. Like, I, I just wish things like that would get, like, yeah. a bigger well, see, even, theatrical even if, release. Even if I don't get to go see it, you know, so miraculously I don't get to go see it in theaters. It comes out on Blu-ray next. It comes the out week on Blu-ray, and you can bet your ass I'm going I'm to I'm going to buy that. <sighs> I'm going to buy that. Are you going to buy a Batman v Soup's the extended oh, edition? I am going to, yes. I am going to get the extended uh, ultimate edition when it comes out on Blu-ray. Yes. I probably will too. And uh, uh, I think Civil... the few people that I know that I actually like that movie, I don't know. I, I know it's not just because I have, I know it's not just, I know it's not just me. I know it's not like, it's not because I have bad taste in films. I know that's not because. I, he does. I don't. <laughs> He so does, doesn't, don't listen to a thing he says because he's wrong. Are you making an ASMR video now? You haven't What's even seen it. I'm going to take this comb and gently brush my hair. Okay, so this became like an ephemeral rift type video right now. Yeah, ephemeral rift. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, um. Fuck all you ASMR haters out there. Yeah, oh, I love, I love ASMR. Helps, helps, helps me, help, yeah, helps, helps me fall asleep. Helps, yeah. Like I, I don't know. I've really gotten into ASMR videos lately. I actually, I don't know I've been in it. I've been in it for to, years. I used to listen to music to fall asleep, but now I just listen. I find it because uh, I, I don't know. I always found it easier to fall asleep uh, when somebody is talking. I will kill you, Riley. If somebody's talking, I can usually. I'm, it's easier for me to fall asleep when there's noise than it is for silence. Yeah. I can't yeah. fall asleep yeah, in go, silence. Um, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Really. But going back to the Blu-ray thing, real quick. Yeah. Um, Killing Joke comes out in August on Blu-ray. Uh, Batman v Soups comes out in a few weeks on Blu-ray. Civil War comes out on Blu-ray in September. Mm -hmm. 
I'm totally going to buy that shit. Because I'm Civil working, War was really good. I'm oh, yeah. working on getting... I'm going to... I'm working on You're getting... You're working on getting a Marvel collection? I'm getting Marvel collection, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of movies to go Because as so far, I have... Except for... Uh, Except for Man of Steel, I have most of my DC collection. Right on. I'm not. I don't count the Nolan films as because they're not. It's not DC. They're not movies. I don't count the the Nolan films as coming from DC because I don't really take anything from the comics. It doesn't count. Yeah, it's just a standalone. I guess. Well, it's bad. Even though Dark Knight was really good. Fuck yeah. I agree. Dark Knight was really good. Dark Knight was really good. Dark Knight was obviously the best one there. There was a squirrel. It was the only the one I cared about. Holy Oh, sorry. It was the only one to care about. I didn't much care for Batman Begins, and even though we all saw Batman it in Begins theaters, was okay. I love you know, it. Even though we all saw it in theaters, I didn't much care for Batman it, for uh, the Dark Knight Returns. It took a while it's for not it the Dark Knight Returns. The Dark, Rises. Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises. Dark, Dark Knight Returns, Returns is really fucking good. awesome. Um, Jinx, you want yeah. cokes? We didn't say the same thing. No, we didn't. You said but no, I saw. Stuff. I um, it, it took a while to sink in. Uh, after we saw in the theaters that uh, Dark Knight Rises wasn't that great. It didn't make any sense! It was all over the place. Batman would not stuff. do any of the things that he did in the film. How does Batman get from hole to Gotham? <laughs> How does Batman get from hole in desert to Gotham, Sit. I've actually... How does it, Batman in five get men, from Gotham to... In five men with Bat... <laughs> you know what? I actually ruined that... <laughs> I, I ruined that movie so much for my brother. Uh, Guys... I ruined that movie so much for my brother because you know the chanting is like pasta, pasta, fish, fish, pasta. I started doing. Do you remember that? No, no, no. You don't. I, remember, no, you don't I, remember that. You fuck I, off. I I've know. Only, I know what you're only, talking I've about. I've only but seen the movie once, and it was when we saw it. In I theaters. know what you're talking about, but I thought like I thought there was a completely different joke involved there. No, it's like you know there was, there was that one YouTube video we watched in school one time, like grade twelve. It was like you know guys chanting behind Batman like. Pasta, pasta, fish, fish, pasta. Because the I chanting could've, could've sounds something so much like that. like that. Like the chanting just sounds so much like that. And I started saying it like when Ryan, me, me and uh, me and my brother were watching it. He's just like, "Fuck you, Riley. You ruined it." <laughs> yeah. Then again, the movie isn't that great to begin with. So yeah, it took Ryan. It. Uh, my brother was even telling me like it took it took him a couple Especially times. Especially when Bane talks like this. Okay, that's really good. Oh, Batman! It looks like you're here to stop me. Too bad I'm crashing this plane. Seven <laughs> Eleven was a part time job. Yeah. Oh, Batman's here. Well, too bad we have to stop the football game early. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder how that'll sound in the mic. We have to find that later. We will. 48 minutes, remind me. Fuck. I was born in the darkness. You were... That was actually really good. Batman, don't look directly into the sun. It will hurt your eyes. Now let's see what breaks first. Your mind or your body. Or your butthole. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to comment. Joe's was, like, insanely accurate. Well, Joe's just good like that. I know. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good at Joe's good at impressions the impressions of sex. <laughs> there, that was that was my Christian. That was, that was my Christian Bale Batman impression. Oh, Batman! Where's the trigger? Where are the other drugs going? Where are the other drugs going? Man, that's a nice fucking peak you got there. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Uh, mm, seriously. Uh, mm. I, I, still, I still don't agree with, with, with uh, Christian Bale's casting as Batman. I'm sorry to all you Nolan Dark Knight fans out there. It just doesn't work for you me. You realize you're going to get like blasted death threats, yeah, right? Hey, Joe, remember right. remember this shit? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Anybody out there seen the Dark, Dark Crystal? Crystal? It's fucking great. Jim Henson movie? It's good. Pretty, pretty really, great. Really good movie. Yeah. Didn't They're he... just like... Mm, mm, what were they called mm. again? The, the, I don't the, remember. The sexies or the... The sexies? The sexies. The sex days. Where the no, sex it was something, days. No, it was something along the... It was the, like the nexies oh, or something like that. Batman, it looks like you're here to stop me. Okay, didn't uh, Jim Henson's company do uh, Labyrinth? With uh, Labyrinth. Dave Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Yeah, with yeah. Uh, Dave Bowie. Dave Bowie. Why would you pronounce it like that? Because fuck you. David Boy. Oh, under pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing, Pushing down, down on, on you. Me. No man asked for this. I remember seeing a post about... Uh, I forget... Um, 
<laughs> it was, I forget where I saw it, but it was like a post of this girl saying she can never watch Labyrinth again because hey, after she watched Labyrinth the first time, she had a dream where J- David Bowie's bulge chased her around the labyrinth. <laughs> what the and she fuck? Could never, you, you ever watch the movie? His bulge is huge. Oh, is. Batman looks like my bulge is going to break you. <laughs> hey, don't insult David Bowie like that. You can insult Prince. <laughs> Sorry. Insult Prince all you want. Prince's no, Prince's don't. music was good. He don't was insult a bit of an Prince. Asshole. Don't insult Prince. I he... will insult Prince because he's a weirdo. Don't insult <laughs> Prince. He water. He was like Michael Jackson without the pedophilia problems, and he also wore a lot of purple. Why'd you have to bring that up? Because I did. Uh, why'd you? Why'd you have to bring that up, Riley? Leave for a minute to get more water. Oh. You want more water, Shane? Please, thank you, sir. How's it going, Thomas? Oh, sorry. That was, that was a nice, nice voice. That was a nice uh, crack I got there. Yeah, I know. How's it going, Thomas? Nice crack you, got there. <laughs> you have crack. You have crack. Do you want to share? That's a nice crack you got there, boy. Do you want to share this crack? Cause like, boy, I got some crack that I can oh, share in the bathroom. How the hell is it five thirty? It's five thirty p.m. Five thirty-five, actually. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're losing it. Yeah, we are. I think it's uh, I think it's almost time to wrap this shit up. So, Riley, you got anything else you want to say? Non-conspiracy like, uh, chemtrails. I don't know. Um, make America great again. Yep, exactly. Um, Hillary Clinton is Bay. Uh, um, oh, you fucking get off of that. <laughs> Hashtag uh, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Hashtag socialism. Hashtag feel the burn. Oh, dude, I actually have to show you this. Uh, speaking of Dragon Ball, there's a really funny parody. How, how do we go from Bernie Sanders to Dragon Ball? I'll show you. I'll connect the two, motherfucker. There's okay. this really funny parody of Bernie Sanders. Uh, it's like a Bernie Sanders DBZ mashup. Dragon. You will abide by my authority. Dragon Burn Eve. There's this really... Hi. How's it going? We're almost uh, done. Oh, there's this really, this is really funny. I guess I'll end... On this, Fuck. there's this really funny dra- um, Bernie Sanders parody. Do not trip on that cable. Yeah, don't trip on that cable. Not please. gonna trip on the cable. But no, there's this there's this really funny um, Bernie Sanders joke. It's like a it's a Bernie Sanders Dragon Ball Z uh, mashup, and he's going Super Saiyan. He's like, "This isn't even my final reform." And oh. it's, here, I'll see. Uh, oh my God, Dragon Dragon Burn E. Joe, did you see this shit? <laughs> Dragon Burn E. Huh. This isn't even my final reform. Gotta, is that what that joke gotta, is from? I'm putting it on the screen. Don't worry, it's on screen right now. Is yeah. that what that whole this isn't my final form joke is from? Yeah, yes, it's, really. yeah it's always it's been Frieza. Dragon Ball. It's yeah. Frieza. Frieza! Oh, okay. Right on. Fucking Frieza and his purple ass head. Fucking Frieza and his fucking frozen f- dessert army. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Frieza and his movie only brother. <laughs> uh, okay, I think right. I think we need to wrap this shit up here. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to say before we uh, call it quits here? Make America great again. We already said that. Make Adventure Games great again. <laughs> Make Dairy Queen great again. Make Dairy Ninten- Queen is great. <laughs> Make Nintendo great again. Oh, that's actually that that hits a little close to home. Yeah, I know. So anyway, I think we're going to wrap things up here. So thank you very much for watching another episode of the Beard of Banter podcast. If you like what you've seen, you can subscribe to BGN on YouTube for Let's Plays, podcasts, live streams, unboxings, reviews, etc. We do a lot of great gaming content here, so it completely ignore the stuffed cat jerking off into the microphone. It's totally normal. Don't think anything of it. Moving on. If you like this podcast, then you'll be happy to know that we do an episode of the Beard of Banter podcast every Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, so we'll wrap things up here. Thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, The Beer One. With me is my co-host, Random Richard. Have a good one, everyone. And uh, with us is our special guest, Joe Hayes. Just happy to be here. Good. Glad. Most we'll All get right. out of him. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Keep on gaming. Thomas, stop that. You son of a bitch. It actually shows up on the Yeah, I know it does. Wait, which one's yours? Which one's mine? I don't know. <gasps> All right, see you guys next week. Alice texted you. I'm aware of that. Sorry. That should be interesting to listen to.